Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Freddie of the Crafty Nation, back at it one more time with another quick beer review for you. And this is none other, pretty pretty new of, as of last week. Uh, this is Trillium's Trillikini in collaboration with Evil Twin Brewing. So yeah, this was uh, canned on June 20th. I don't know if you guys can see at the bottom of the can, it says Beach Body. You can see the... the uh, the bikini top there pretty funny right with the three uh yeah so uh today when you well i'm not sure when you're gonna be seeing this but today's date is 12, 28th this is eight days old a little over a week uh so yeah this is uh trillium's take on evil twins i believe it's bikini beer um it's a pretty low uh a low abv they call it american ipa but it's a low abv ipa pretty much a, a session ipa and this is uh brewed with amarillo citra mosaic and columbus and um seems like columbus you know that's it's the bittering hop trillium loves to use so uh with that said now you know what the beer the can looks like and you know uh before i even get to this let's let's say something pretty important uh this was trillium's first uh can run right here trillikini and um that's pretty big news and today again eight days later the 28th of june they uh, officially announced that there will be uh putting in cans all their hop beers so double ipas ipas all that good stuff the double dry hop line there will be canned 16 ounce can format um which is pretty dope news if you think about it um pretty good price point looks like per ounce you'll be uh, saving some money if so if you guys are in boston like i am or around the way uh yeah, it's definitely good news and uh it's gonna be fun to see what what they're gonna be doing with that man so with that said guys let's get this in a into a can uh, a can it's in a can Let's get this to a glass and uh, see what it looks like. Oh, let's pour that in there. Semi-aggressive. Wow. As usual, man, haze. Can't see a dang thing through it. Uh, very nice. Uh, Kind of medium to, to small bubbles, a decently you know compact, not too uh, not too frothy, but they look pretty loose, um, dissipating fairly quickly at the beginning, the top of the, the head there. But it seems not to be hanging on there. Nice, pretty off white. I mean, pretty damn close to white head to be honest. Uh, but I can smell it from here, man. So, I mean, this typical kind of look of Trillium. Uh, this beer has been at room temperature for a while, man. Uh, I mean, this is just looks awesome. Definitely awesome. I can smell it from here, guys. So let's get a nose on it. <sighs> oh, this smells, this smells ridiculous. Uh, wow. This, I believe it's a, uh, 3.3% ABV guys. And this has a nose like a double IPA from these guys, you know, huge, huge, peach grapefruit like uh some like lemony notes in there i don't know why Leah, i get this like candy kind of like not candy but it's like a very sweet like citrus note to it i'm not sure if it's like this like a grapefruit or like a really really like overly ripe maybe like an orange yeah i mean wow the nose is just a huge big nose you get this subtle like there's like this subtle malt, like, uh, yeah, after the, 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 the fruit, after the citrus kind of subsides, there's like this nice, like a doughy kind of smell to it. Wow. I mean, it just smells ridiculous, man. It's not, it, it's, it's got this, it's kind of like, it's, I wouldn't say dank to it, but there's a little bit of herbal note in there. But not too much. I mean, this is just big, big grapefruit, big like lemon, big citrus in there. Wow. Can't wait to give this a try, guys. So uh, cheers. See what it tastes like. <laughs> wow. Grab a coaster. Um, I, I'll try it again. Unbelievable. At 
at, at such a low ABV, what they're able to do with this beer. It's crazy, especially for their version of bikini beer. Um, just again, big hot presence, presence, excuse me. Um, there's grapefruit there. There's that, that lemon. It's like a zesty lemon to it. Uh, there's like this, again, there's like this doughy kind of taste to it, just like a little bit like in the back of the smell there. Uh, there's a little presence to that. And for right off the bat, for 3.3% for ABV, it has a nice, like, I wouldn't say a full mouth feel, but it's, it's there. You know what I mean? It's, it's maybe a little bit less than what some of their beers are usually like, but again, for that ABV, it's, it's a nice mouth feel to it, guys. Pretty damn creamy um, and, and soft. Um, not real heavily carbonated, um, just enough uh, to kind of move the flavors around there. Um, wow. I, I'm just amazed at what they are able to do with this beer at this ABV. It literally tastes like an, an IPA that's well above the uh, ABV that it's at. Um, man, I, I can't. Wow. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Seriously, it's ridiculous. This is, and I'm going to, I'll say it here. For me, if you are a beach bum this summer, and if this beer was readily available from Trillium, this would be the beer you want to have at the beach. You know, it's sessionable. You can crush it for days. Tons and tons of flavor. I mean, you have no no issue going through a, a four-pack of this on the beach not one problem and it's just packs this huge punch of flavors uh the mouth feels right where it needs to be and I, i'm not sure this could have been done any better to be honest um i'm just blown away i, I did not expect this to be i thought it's good I, I expected it to have you know because I, I when it comes to trillium i have some big expectations from what, how they brew and what they brew but i wasn't sure how this was going to play and um i'm really blown away at, at, at what they can bring to the table Provided again, the ABV is so low and it tastes like it tastes much. It's not boozy by any means, but it tastes much bigger in flavor than you would you would get, you know, or you would see think of with that label. So uh, as far as a, a rating goes, guys, this is a uh, wow uh, for the a sessionable IPA and the way this packs a punch in flavor. The mouth feels there. It gives you everything you want. It's that that New England style, that big juice bomb. Um, you know, it's it, again. I, I say big juice bomb again because it, because it's not meant to be that. I guess you know, and, and it just is. I guess in that at that kind of way, if that makes any sense. Um, it has enough hot bite there. Has this little touch of of dankness at the end that makes it taste bigger. So with all that being said, you know, I think I'm just rambling on, but. It's just crazy to me how this is done. I, this isn't easy for me. This is going to get a, a 425 um, CBN caps, guys. Ridiculous. It's got everything again, man. It's big grapefruit, lemon zest. It's got a, just a slight bit of dankness, just a slight bit of bite, a nice, like, creamy, soft mouthfeel to it. It's a perfect beach beer, uh, the ABV. It's enjoyable. It's going to be easy to crush when this is, when I get off this camera, it's just going to be gone within minutes. It's not, <laughs> you know, it's just super easy to drink guys. So with that being said, once again, this is uh, Trillium in collaboration, Trillium Brewing Company in collaboration with Evil Twin Brewing. And this is their Trillikini IPA coming in at 3.3% ABV. With that being said, guys, uh, yeah, it was great. That's it. Hands down. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, leave some comments down below. If you have this beer, let me know what you uh, what you think about it, guys. With that being said, cheers.